Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So, I got a couple decks in the mail today. Or, no, not in the mail. At my local metaphysical shop today. And I actually got off work early. I got my new phone a couple days ago, which is what we're using today to film. It's a little brighter than I would assume it would be, but it, it washed out a little bit the last deck. We'll see about this deck. So, this is the second video I'm doing tonight. It is on a deck that has... I've taken it on and off my wish list like twice. Um, and then I was decided I'm not going to get it. And then when I went in my local metaphysical shop today, um, there was a synchronicity with the other deck because it's been stalking me. And it just happened to be, I literally thought to myself, if it's in here, I'll get it. And I turned around and it was literally staring me in the face. So I had to get it. And then I saw this one and I'm like, it was like something said, well, you're getting the other one. Might as well get this one too. And usually when that kind of message hits me or voice in my head says, buy it now, there's a reason. And the last one, <laughs> it was crazy. So we're going to figure out why this one um, decided it needed to come home with me today as well. And it is the Guardian Tarot by Beth Sirlonen. Um, it was like 25 bucks in my local metaphysical shop and it is a gorgeous gorgeous box already um it's a gorgeous box but i can hardly read that there's it says there's trees are guardians of our lives but there is a drastic contrast between the living and the dead in nature's and spirit these distinct dis, disquieting yet beautiful 78 tarot cards and guidebook identify a clear correlation of how humans exist within current times we become less functional depleted and unable to connect to our personal happiness as we pull our nourishment from a dis depleted source these guardians will teach you that in a nourishing environment where your needs are met and supported by others your you grow stronger by bringing two entities together trees and humans you will journey along a path to unite and foster awareness of the importance between nature and yourself and promote your own personal development and joy find a nourishing environment and pre and improve your life with the guardianship of trees and that is just gorgeous bring together humans and trees to foster awareness of nature and the self and it has a magnetic little box here. Beautiful. And I did just take the plastic off the outside. And I've only seen one, like, one walkthrough of this. Look at that. Gorgeous. There's about the author. Um, there's a book right here. Oh, let's see that. It's glossy. Oh, and it's color, too. Wow. Gives you a brief description of each card. And I was looking for the Mary L when I went in there. I was like, I don't want to order it off Amazon and wait for it. I decided to go ahead and buy it. It's been on my wish list for a long time. And then I walked in and found this. And I'm like, here's a card spread. A couple card spreads in there. Two spreads in there. And I'm like, this actually almost gives me the same kind of vibe as the Mary L tarot. So I'm like, and then it was like something said, go ahead, buy it. Um, there's one little plastic thing on here. And it's borderless as well as the other one I just showed, which I was shocked that it was borderless because all the walkthroughs I've seen wasn't borderless. Um, that's a thick, thick cardstock. It looks like the same. They're fatter than a normal tarot deck. Let me see. I got my mystical medleys right here. It's like the same size tarot cards. Like this is a regular tarot size. So they're fatter and shorter. Yeah. Fatter and shorter. <laughs> um, these are the bags. Oh, I don't know why. It's my new camera. Sorry. My new phone. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why. It just went dark on me. Just totally went dark. I don't know why it went dark. Now I can't figure out the light. Oh, there it went. I turned it off on accident. It's so sensitive and touchy. Sorry. 
So, yeah, there we go. Better. It's just so bright. So, and then I was, I came home after I bought it and did watch another walkthrough. And I'm like, there's a reason. Like, I felt so, (sighs) like I was stepping into another world. And these, like, like I'm living simultaneously with another world, which is the trees. And I'm first, for the first time seeing the trees in their, in their world, in their natural environment, in their, in their habitat. And I just thought that was interesting the way I saw it. Very interesting. That's too bright now. And, uh, no, yeah, there we go. So here we have the full. Beautiful. The magician, gorgeous. High priestess. And this kind of weirded me out with the eyes because some of them, not all of them have that, but Empress. That kind of weirds me out because it's almost like someone wearing mask, a skin mask. Um, but as I watched the walker, it just got deeper and deeper. And I'm like, okay, I can handle it. So this is the emperor. We have the hierophant. And we have the lovers card. The chariot. Strength card. Hermit. I thought that was interesting. It's like um, different trails. Almost like leveling up to the next level. Like in, um, what's that game everybody likes? And that's my dog barking. (laughs) Candy Crush. Like when you move to the next level, it shows kind of like bubbles moving up to the next level. So that's, I found that interesting. We have Justice. And this is not my cup of tea. I mean, some of these cards are gorgeous. Like, that's gorgeous. Utterly breathtaking. Um, And it says suspend instead of the hangman. Wow. Instead of, well, let's just, yeah. That's cool. And then we have death. And I found this quite dark. It's almost like these other beings are, like, sharing their world for the first time. It's weird. Temperance. The devil. Tower. Look in the back. Him in the background. Wow. Star. The moon. I have a very, very strong feeling this is another one of those decks that's like a gut punch. That's like, it's going to knock you for a loop. Uh, when it does give you a reading, it's going to it's gonna just tear you a new one. Um, the sun. And then, I, most of my decks are like that. I just happen to pick those kinds of decks. Judgment. And I've come to terms with it over the last couple decks I've gotten that I thought were going to be these cute little beautiful little decks and they're sweet no they were even worse than a normal what I would think of as a darker deck and then the world that's beautiful but um no like (laughs) craziness so we have the ace of wands here if you hear clicking that's my other dog running around here two of wands gorgeous I could have done without the lines here, because I noticed this was on the um, other one, the majors too. Three of wands. Four of wands. But I seem to have a visceral, when I watched the walkthrough earlier, I seem to have a very visceral reaction to this deck. And that's why I was like, okay, this is why I've gotten this deck. Five of wands. 
six of wands. Seven, that's beautiful. Look at him standing in the background in all of them. Wow. Eight of wands. It's a very um, intuitive deck, I think it's going to be. And I feel like I it should pair nicely with soul cards, one or two or both. Um, nine of wands. Ten of wands. I feel like each one of these is a different person in this other world. That's crazy. Page of wands. Oh, wow. Knight of wands. That's beautiful. Queen of Wands. And this is not even my aesthetic at all. King of Wands. But I find it quite beautiful. Very stunning artwork. So we have the Ace of Swords. My favorite suit. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. That's on the cover of the box. That's gorgeous. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. And I don't know who published this, but it's almost like a low scare barrel, thicker, uh, glossy cardstock. Which I don't mind. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. And the Ten. Wow. That's a different take as well. It's all up in the mind, too. In the head. And then we have the Page. Beautiful. The Knight. Gorgeous. It's almost like a Native American. Wow. Queen of Swords. And the King. Gorgeous just beautiful stunning art ace of cups two of cups three of cups I love that they're almost like ghostly figures like they were there and now they're not ooh that just gives me chills cause it's remember what we said on the back it's like this connection between spirit and the dead, uh, or between the dead and the living is kind of what I'm getting from this. This is whew, intense. Four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven of cups, eight of cups. Wow. <clears throat> Nine of cups. Ten of Cups. Page. Knight. Oh, wow. Look at that queen. Beautiful. And the king. Yeah, and after a while, you don't even realize that the... Oh, and he's holding a baby. Oh. You don't even realize about the black eyes later. I mean, you don't. <laughs> um, and then we have the last suit. The Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Uh, two of Pentacles. I feel like these are going further and further away. Like. Three. <clears throat> four. Or pentacles. Oh wow, I love that five. Six. The horsey. It's like even it's like a being that can't be seen with the naked eye, and the horse can see them because it's you know it's an animal. Um, crazy. Seven of pentacles. Eight. That's beautiful. Look at the butterflies. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten. I love any card with a sunflower in it. That's gorgeous. 
and then we have the page. Oh my gosh, the knight of pentacles, the queen, gorgeous, and the king. And again, I get this Native American feel from that. Interesting. So, that's my new deck, the Guardian Tarot. Let's see how it shuffles. It's quite thick. Look how thick that is. Thick, thick deck. Um, overhand shuffle is pretty good. Let's see if it riffle shuffles. That's the true test, because I am a riffler shuffler. Oh, it actually does it quite well. I can't bend it back that way, but it did the first part better than I thought it would. Better than expected. So let's pull a card and see what the book says. So excited. Oh, and it's the cover of the box. It fell out. That's crazy. The Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Oh, wow. I love that they're colored in here. Okay, we have Three of Swords. It says the Guardian helps one realize that it is time to set yourself free of the past. What? Uh, as each memory spreads its wings to fly away, wow. Take a moment to honor each one and the challenges that came with them. Allow for a moment of grief and sadness as this part of life is over. And that more and then more on to brighter move on to brighter more liberating days wow that okay it calls you out right that's crazy whether it is seeing your child graduate graduate an affair came to an end or a position that you have built up through a devoted career you know it is time to transition from the this phase of your life Realize, release yourself from this. Stand back and watch the beauty of the moment to see the effects of your devotion and care take flight. It would not have been the same without you. Wow. The reverse of this card can indicate that you may not be ready to let go. <laughs> and I've been getting the message let go for like two years now. So this coming at this month, at the end of 2021... It just, it's like all the pieces fell in the place. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Um, to be getting this message to see, like, it's a great time to finally let go um, and move on. Um, wow. Take a deep breath and know that the love and pride stay, but life needs to and must expand. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous deck. <sighs> That's crazy. I'm already like very emotional, and I all I've done is a flip through of this deck, but can't wait to work with it. This is the Guardian Tarot by Beth Salomon. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I apologize if I screwed it up. I don't even know. It doesn't tell me anywhere in the box where it was published. Oh, sorry, Red Feather. Um, Red Feather Shipper. It's the same people. Oh, you know what? That's the same cardstock as the. Um, Oh my God. Terrible the She. It is the same card stock. Um, same publisher. Makes sense. Um, it just seems a little small. They're a little, lot smaller and they're borderless. Um, so I didn't, I didn't, I don't have to do anything to it. Maybe I'll, um, do some blue here on the edging, but I don't even know if I should do that. <laughs> Cause again, it's another deck that make, I have this visceral reaction to just like I did Terrible the She. And now that I'm thinking about it, those two probably would pair great together as well. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Um, if you guys have this deck, if you don't have this deck, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And I'm sorry about the ruckus and the having to pause 80,000 times. That's my life. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.